Hey, it's the French student here, and today we're going to be talking about use case diagrams. So previously we talked about UML and object, object and class diagrams, which are structural diagrams showing the structure of the programmer often used to create some kind of uh, of the code, and is used more in the phase of um, completion and implementing code directly. Where the use case diagram is a behavioral diagram showing the behavior of the program and how the users will use it. So first of all, I just have some examples taken from the plant UML, plant UML examples. And this first one is just a very simple example just to get the basic understanding of what a use case diagram is. And it's simply, we have an actor, which often would be some kind of user or some person using the program. And in this case, we're looking at a program, or it's not a program, but it's at a restaurant, where we have a food critic, which is kind of like the actor using our restaurant. And then we have use cases, which is the specific uses our actor can use inside a software, in this case, inside a restaurant. So, for example, a food critic can eat the food, pay for the food, and drink. And then maybe we would need like another box saying like critique the restaurant or something, or maybe that's a part of another program. But but just simply showcasing that we have some actors and some relationships showing what the actor can do, and then these use cases showing what they contain. So also have another example from uh, Plan UML where you simply have a user. Often it's like a user and maybe like a main admin. And they have different axes. In this case, they just simply have some arrows using the application. And then we're also able to use these different kind of relationship arrows or lines to show relationships. And then often we would add some kind of node. Because, as mentioned, it's very useful to show behavior. And regarding behavior, we often need some kind of documentation actually telling. So maybe we would also add some documentation for the use case diagram describing the use of each actor and how they would use the program specifically. And then based on this behavioral diagram, you could create some kind of some, some other diagram, for example, the class diagram, and use the behavioral to create some structural diagrams and then use the structural diagrams to um, implement the software. But in this case, we just have a user that can access or use the application. I mean, admin can also use the application. However, the user can also start which is also connected to using the application, like starting the application before using it. And then we just have some nodes. Like this is just an example. We have our main admin, which is an actor. These are all actors. These like stick figures. And then we just have another node, and this is the use cases. So that's the basics of the UML um, use case diagrams. I'll just quickly show some of the, um, the plant UML code. So like with the other diagram, we'll just simply use arrows to show relationships. When creating a node, we create node in the position of something, in this case, the admin, which we have up top, which is done like this. We use um, the structure to show that it's uh, an actor. And we have the name of the actor and we have like the variable name of the actor which is the one we use, for example, when we show the relationships or when we show in the position of the um, node, for example, going, uh, this is an example, an actor using a new line to go to a second line, which is this one. And then we also have another node on multiple lines, this one down here, where we have like a beginning node or a fuser, and then which is like the beginning of the node and then the end of the node. But generally, this is the basics elements of our UML use case. And in the next episode, we will be talking about like a more general example of like some software where these are very like simple examples just showcasing the elements. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.